Today we're going to change the brake, rear brake pad of the scooter, GY6 scooter, 150cc. The brake pad is uh, this one right here. This one is a brake pad for the rear part of the, your GY6 scooter. Okay, you're gonna need a lot of little things. You're gonna need a 14 millimeter, this one is a 14 millimeter um, rod socket wrench. You're going to need a 10 millimeter socket wrench. You're going to need a 12 millimeter socket wrench. And then this one is the really large one. This one is a, a 7, 8 millimeter socket wrench. For this one, you're going to need an impact wrench. This one is a long nose plier. That's what you're going to need for to remove a little O-ring that you have on your uh, rear or side. Or you can use a little longer if you want to lose a little longer. This one is a, another plier that you're going to need to remove an O-ring, okay? This one is a rubber mallet, rubber uh, hammer that you're going to need to remove the wheel, okay? So this one is pretty inexpensive. You're going to need to use to, to remove the back part tire. And this one, it's pretty inexpensive, is a, a impact wrench drive. This one you can use to remove the back tire of your scooter. Okay, now that we have all the tools ready, we're going to go on the other side of the scooter and uh, unscrew the adjuster for the rear brake so that will give us a, a little room to remove the tire because when your adjuster is tight they will squeeze the tire squeeze the inside of the tire and will not allow you to come out with the tire rim okay so just now we're going to go to the other side of the scooter on the left side Okay, we just unscrewed the back adjuster, so we have more room to remove your rim from your scooter. Okay, so just let's go on the other side right now, and you can start to work on removing your tire. Okay, we can start to remove the tire and all the screws that are around here. We have a, a 12 millimeter wrench that we have to unscrew right here. This one is a, a screw right here. We have a 10 millimeter wrench on the top and underneath we have uh, this one there, 12 millimeter, just one down here. And then we have to remove the nut and the screws at the exhaust, you know, at the pipe right here, the muffler. Okay, let's start to do it. Now make sure you're not going to lose the screws, make sure you put them on the side where you're going to remember where you're going to put the screws later, because later you have to put everything back on. Okay, this time we can remove the screw of the muffler.
Okay, after you remove all the screws right here, you can uh, remove the muffler holders right here. Be gently, and don't make any force to your muffler. Because if you touch this muffler, this muffler is gonna break to the top part. So make sure you're gentle, okay? So, screws and muffler holders, put them on the side, because later you have to put it back, okay? Put everything together. Now, at this point, we have to remove the bolt that's right here on the left side that is part of the shock. The shock or the suspension is right here on your left side. This one, it is a 12 millimeter socket wrench. millimeter bolt that is part of your suspension so put them on the side because later you're gonna need it okay at this point you should remove the center nut that is right here is a pretty large bolt to remove this one you're going to need a socket wrench that is a really large one That's the socket wrench you're going to need to remove the center nut of your wheel. Okay, right here. This one is a 7-8, 7-8 socket wrench. To remove this one, you're going to need an input wrench, okay? is the bolt that you have in your back side of your wheel okay this one is a large bolt in the back so when you remove it make sure you put it on the side and you, later you're going to put it back on okay right in the center right here where is the bolt you're going to find an o-ring to remove this o-ring you're going to need a, a long nose plier like this one okay here we have, this one is an O-ring that is uh, part of your rear back tire, okay? Turn it off. Okay, at this moment, you just remove all the screws and you move the, remove the center part right here, the nut and the O-ring, you can start to remove the arm that is on the right side of the scooter, okay? The arm is connected with the, uh, your suspension right here. Connected with suspension, try to pull the suspension on the outside right now at the moment, okay? Here we have the arm that is coming off, right here. That's the arm, that's where all the screws goes before, and that's the center part. All the parts that you're going to find, it, make sure you're gonna put it back. There is an O-ring on the inside, and there is an O-ring right here. That's the washer that is connected with the shaft of your back wheel okay so place the o-ring that goes inside the shaft inside the arm right here okay make sure nothing gets lost make sure you do everything with kindness with the engine with your scooter okay put this one on the side so make sure you're not going to touch it leave it the way it is okay at this point you're going to have the wheel right here your muffler, make sure you don't put your hands on your muffler, you don't make any pressure on your muffler because you're going to break it. So, you have the 
suspension right here, they will bother you, slightly bother you, okay? So push the suspension forward. So this suspension at this moment is gonna be out of your way. Now, you have the wheel right here. You can start to wiggle the wheel and there is another washer right here that you have in, on the shaft of your, of your wheel. Make sure you put it on the side because you have to put it back later. At this point, you can start to wiggle the, your wheel out. Unfortunately, you're slightly tight over here. Uh, a lot of the mechanics, they remove the muffler and the pipe. You don't really need to if you're gentle and if you slightly wiggle the tire out of your scooter, okay? Slightly wiggle the wheel out and then bend it, slightly bend it on the fours. At this point the tire will come out. Be gentle with the muffler because if you want to bend this muffler later you might have a bigger problem. Here we have the tire, just came out and put it on the side. If you like, you can clean a little bit, okay? Very easy to pull it out. Just bend one side and you bend the other side, okay? That's how it comes out. Okay, at this moment we can place the new brake pad. So enter on one side and place it in the two screws that you have in the center. Unfortunately, you have to pull her in a little bit because you have two springs, two springs making... Okay, that's it. The brake, brake pad is on, right here. Okay, make sure you don't get any grease on the brake pad, okay? If you get any kind of grease in this brake pad, your brake, they're not gonna work. It's just gonna keep straight, going straight, okay? So try to keep the brake pad clean of any kind of grease, okay? Those are the old brake pad right here. They look pretty worn out, finished. Those are no good anymore, okay? At this point, when you replace the brake pad right here, you're going to put the bar you can place your wheel back where it was before. Okay? Be gentle with all the things that you're gonna find over here and make sure you put it in the right way because uh, this one is going to be a really safety thing for you. So if you cannot brake, you might get in an accident, okay? So those are very important things, okay?
it, we gently push the wheel in. Okay? And we make sure that we turn the wheel to make sure it's, uh, the wheels turn freely. Okay? And it doesn't make any scratching noise or something that is rough because uh, it has to be turning freely, the tire, as soon as you put the brake, okay? The new brake pad. At this point, if the tire is turning freely, we can start to put the O-ring back, we start to put all the washers and everything where it's supposed to be, okay? At this point, we can make sure everything is nice and then the, your tire turning freely. We can put back the washer that was there, the spacer actually, this is the larger spacer. That's right here, that's the larger spacer, okay? For the back wheel. You can place it back here. At this point, you can grab the arm. This one is the big arm that goes behind, right, right in front of your tire, and you can place it back. Now make sure you do everything nice and gently because you might break something. So you might break the muffler, you might break the suspension. Do everything nice and gently. At this point, uh, get the suspension and pull it towards you. And attach it back to the arm. Okay? Make sure is the back arm is, uh, I mean, it's freely, you know, it's, uh, you can move it and it can make a little up and down, you know, make sure it doesn't force. At this point, you can replace the bolt of the back uh, suspension. So it's going to keep the arm in a position, okay? This is the bolt of the suspension right there. Slightly tight this bolt from the suspension just to keep it in place. I don't want to, this one to make a, a really tight, firm, uh, not movement situation. So slightly tight it okay after you've done this one you can replace the o-ring that you have for your back tire this is the o-ring for the back tire but shaft tire right here that will go right inside here to put this one back on it you're going to need long nose pliers okay To place this one, you just place the nose inside the o-ring and squeeze it. When it's in position, you're going to release the pliers and the o-ring in its in location, okay? At this point, still make sure that your tire, tire turns very freely, okay? There is nothing going on. Because uh, at this point, if you do something wrong, uh, you can always adjust. But later, it's going to be too late. You have to remove uh, too many things, uh, and uh, it's going to be a longer pro process. Okay? At this point, you're going to put the, the large nut right here for the shaft. You're going to place it back where it was before. Again, make sure you do everything gently when you put any screw in location. 
make sure you don't force it because if you force it you might break the uh, the nut or you might break the screw so if you break the shaft you're gonna have a bigger problem because you have to change the shaft remove the tire do a lot of job a lot of more work okay after you Gentle. just place this nut and tied it by hand you're going to get the socket wrench the impact socket wrench and you're going to tie it okay remember this is a socket wrench and this one is uh, the size is seven eight Make sure this tight is tight, okay? Not over tight, but tight. Make sure this tire is not gonna go nowhere. You don't want to uh, drive your scooter and you're going to feel this, you're going to feel this, and you're gonna lose the tire. Okay, so we have to place the other bolts first, uh, the other screws that they go on the front uh, and then later we're going to tie this one. It's not the arm is not going to have this movement, okay? Okay, for this part of the arm, we have three large screws. Actually, it's one different from the other one. One short one, one middle one, and one really long one, okay? So this really long one goes underneath the arm, okay? Because we have a longer way to go. The shorter one will go on the left side of the arm, and the middle one will go on the right side of the arm. Okay, so let's start from the, let's see, from the long one, okay? The long one goes underneath the muffler and underneath the arm, down here. I want you to uh, screw those uh, uh, bolts tight but not too tight you still need to have a little play a game a little play going on okay you slightly need to adjust the arm on the way it has to go in but you cannot force the arm in because if you force the arm in you might break the screws and you're going to have a bigger problem okay the middle one that is this one that's the medium size bolt uh, goes on the top but before you put this one on the top uh, you're going to have to put uh, a little bar that's right here that is holding the back uh, side of your scooter uh, fender the small fender this one is going to hold that okay so gently put this one in
I will tighten everything by hand at the beginning and then later you can tighten everything with a screwdriver to make everything tighter, okay? It's always too bad. It's always better to have a, a feel of a tidiness with the socket wrench manually. Later you can tighten everything with a driller. Okay, at this point you can tighten the center nub right here of your wheel. Tight this nub right here, you're going to need an impact wrench. The impact wrench right here is uh, 7 8. That's the 7 8 right here, is the socket wrench that you're going to need for the back tire. When you tighten, make sure your Impact wrench goes to the right side, not the left side. You can do a little test before. You want to make sure that this knob right here is tight, okay? Because you don't want you have your tire going anywhere where you're going to drive your scooter. I can say this one is a security nut. This one is a security one that it must make sure that your tire doesn't go anywhere. Okay? At this point, you can tie with a socket wrench all the screws. The one right here for your suspension and all the other screws, okay? Now we have the final step. At this point, we can place all the brackets again for your muffler, okay? Now take your time to put the brackets on your muffler because they're going to give you a little hard time, okay? Make sure the flat part of the bracket goes in the back of the muffler.
again tight the bracket for the back muffler for the muffler not too tight yet put them both to add one after the other one and then later you're going to tie them both okay right after you place all the two bolts, one at a time, tie them up, okay? Make sure they're nice and tight, but not to not over tie them because you might break the bolt, you might break the bracket. So be careful how much you're going to tighten. 
I always would tie them by hand so you can feel the resistance at the end of the bolt, okay? At this time, I think we are done to change the brake. We only have to go to the other side of your scooter and slightly tight the adjuster for the brake, okay? Let's go to the other side. What you have to do, you just slightly turn your back tire to see how much resistance you have in back your back tire. So what you're going to do, you're just going to press this arm going back inside a little bit. And you slightly turn the back screw, this screw right here. Just do four turns, okay? One, two, three, four, okay? And after that, you're just going to go with the ride for your scooter. If this is not going to be enough for stopping your scooter, keep tightening this one until you have uh, enough force to stop your scooter, okay? I'd like you to thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you like it.